Hi everybody, today's um, tutorial is just a, a quick one, uh, more like a show and tell actually. So um, I um, really adore these large stamps by Santoro. Um, they're the gorgeous stamps. They started off with um, just the gorgeous girls and then they went to the minis and then they went to the large ones. And um, they're starting, this is a new release and um, I love them. They're really great because they come with a whole lot of extras um, which you can use to make a little project for when you don't have much time to craft. Um, I use them a lot um, for making paper clip art and I'll show you in just a moment. So I'm sitting down now, I'm trying to figure out how to make a card and you know you just use her but um, apart from her there are lots of other really cute little things that you have to um, you know consider don't just not use them these are companion pets and other um, elements that would make a really great um, mini project so I'll show you really quickly um, what I mean so um, this little girl here, if we come in just a little bit, this little girl here is just the inside of this postal stamp, um, and she is uh, really cute, and you can use her um, on envelopes and inside letters and stuff like that, and just double-sided sticky tape and just stick her on in your diary and uh, wherever you, you, you know, you want to put th this kind of element. Um, you can also put it through your Xyron and turn it into a sticker, so very, very cute. Um, I then went one step further and I used my... Um, so I've got a whole lot of late, um, uh, nested dies, so I've got circles, scallops, and I've got the rectangles and the scalloped rectangles, they're in my other box. And basically, I just did the whole, did turned this one and went one step further and just layered a whole lot of um, different rectangles and scalloped rectangles to get um, this look, which I think is really fabulous. So I've done a few here, and then um, I ended up stamping this onto just plain. Um, cardstock and then just adding it on the side there and it just gives such a pretty um, a pretty I don't know a pretty look to it um, here's another one that I made and I've put the first class which is just this one and all I did was I stamped in um, distress oxide just on the side there here's another one that I did and then um, put it put the same stamp but on the side there so I've got a brunette um, darker brown black and a blonde really really cute um, oh I've got one more here she's cute so you can do that and then you can go one oh I've got another one <laughs> you know like I said these are little projects that you can make um, just when you feel like you just want to sit down and do something small and then just get up and leave. Um, and then you can have them there for if you want to add them to gifts and racks and whatnot. You can then go one step further and um, attach a paper clip to it and make it into a paper clip art, um, which is what we do on our Facebook group. Um, I'll put the link below. Um, we have uh, some very, very talented members, and uh, paperclip art is just a really nice way of using scraps, um, making bookmarks and um, little gifts to give to um, your friends or people that you swap with. So I have a few of these done. Oh, look, there's another one. So these are all going to be turned into paperclip arts eventually. Um, just like that. Here's another one that I did using my um, nested circle and scallop. So I did the same thing here with that on the side. Um, she's cute. Okay. Here is another one, um, another style. 
um, just one that you can open and close. So for example, if you had a book, um, you could just put your book in through like that, or if you actually wanted to use it um, like this, um, and then you can put a note or whatever you wanted to do there. Um, so I, I love these actually. These uh, go a long way for me. Um, have a couple of functions. So there's one there, and then here's another one. One, two. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you is um, these guys over here. They're also um, really cute, and you can do the same thing with them. So what I did here was I just stamped this one with a red oxide, and then I stamped this onto a separate piece of paper, um, colored it in, and then um, a fussy cut, and then I basically just put some of this Nouveau Drops on there to make it look glossy, like the fish was swimming through water. I also ended up putting like a trail of PVA glue, and then I dusted some of this ice resin German glass from the uh, September Antivira kit, um, just to create that like trail of water. So pretty. So I've got one here. Uh, whoopsies, this one coming off. But, um, I've got foam tape underneath there. There we go, that's done. Um, that one's like that. And then you can go one step further and then put um, the uh, paper clip at the back here and then looks nice and neat. So I think this these little these little paper clip arts are just so gorgeous. Um, they really look good on your planners. Um, they look good any book that you're reading. They look fabulous. Everyone who sees mine, you know, they wonder where I get them from. And when I say make them, they're like, how? But they're really, really quite easy if you're crafty, which we are. Um, so, very cute. Um, last of all, just wanted to show you really quickly another thing you can do with these little elements. Um, um, it's ATC, so I made a whole lot of these, and I'll get you to check the, um, the my blog. I'll leave a link to the blog. I've got a whole lot more um, done there, but I've already given them away because they were for swaps. So this is an ATC swap that I did. The theme for September is blue and orange, and how perfect is this stamp for, for this? So basically it's um, green, um, green citron and Salty Ocean, I believe, um, Distress Oxide, and I just flicked a little bit of water. Um, then I stamped this one here in the middle, and then I uh, stamped the koi onto another piece of paper, and then I colored it there, uh, added the Nouveau Drops again, and then put it on here. And then with my PVA glue, I just did like a trail here, and um, put the, the shards on. And for this one, I did color the crab orange. For this one, I didn't. And lastly, I used this gorgeous dimensional liquid pearls, and I just um, went over um, these little postal marks in a wavy formation. So it kind of just looks really dreamy and really dimensional. I really think this is really pretty. So yeah, thank you so much for tuning in today. Today was just a short show and tell. I hope you do get your hands on one of these large uh, Santori rubber stamp and um, get to play with some of these little companions and extras on the side because they do um, add a lot of value as well as the big gorgeous girl that you get there. Um, have a great day everybody um, and I'll see you in my next video.